Hello, algebra students. Uh, today we're going to be going over the unit five activity. It uh, has to do with linear equations and inequalities and systems of linear equations and inequalities. So go ahead and get logged on, put go to that assignment, and we will get started. Um, let me share my screen with you guys. Okay. So go to the slide three and you should see the introduction. Um, go ahead and follow along as I read aloud. Aiden and Natalie each build a catapult for their school's science fair. They constructed their catapults using an elastic band system where the arm of the catapult is pulled back and then released to launch a tennis ball into the air. The elastic bands provide the energy to propel the ball. Aiden and Natalie conducted experiments with their catapults and collected measurement data. In this activity, you'll analyze their data sets to draw conclusions about the situation. Okay, so go ahead and move to page five and you can see uh, Aiden's data here. And you could also see a little bit farther down, you could see Natalie's data here. So for Aiden, it says, while building his catapult, Aiden tested several different designs. He varied the arm length of his catapult and recorded the horizontal distance between where the ball was launched and where it landed each arm length. The table presents Aiden's data showing the length of the catapult arm in relation to the horizontal distance the catapult launched the tennis ball. So you can see the data here. Uh, for example, uh, at the arm length of 60 centimeters, the ball went a horizontal distance of 120 centimeters. For an arm length of 80, it went a distance of 352.4, and so on. So you can see the data here. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use a graphing tool to make the line of best fit for Aiden's data. So go ahead and click on that graphing tool. I have it here already. And if you recall, we use this same graphing tool for the um, unit four activity. So hopefully you remember it somewhat, but when we are putting in the data for Aiden, go ahead and click on this data button here and you should see an XY table come up and what we can do is you can go ahead and copy and paste all of Aiden's data into that. So go ahead and, and highlight Aiden's data. And we're going to copy and paste that into this. Just like that. Okay, so you should see all of Aiden's data show up just like that. If it doesn't show up, you might have to put it in manually. But um, it should look exactly like this. Once you have that, go and click the plot and you should see a scatter plot come up. All right, now after that, so here's all of Aiden's data. And so you can see each of these points are represented by one of these yellow dots. Go ahead and click on this relationship button, go to linear, and then go ahead and click this uh, box that says best fit. And so what you'll see is you'll see a, a line of best fit just like that. And it gives you the slope and the y-intercept right here. So for Aiden's data, you could see the slope for the line of best fit is 2.3 and the y-intercept is 160.7. So on our next part here, it asks, what is the equation for the line of best fit for Aiden's data? So all you're going to do is you're going to replace the M and the B with the slope and y-intercept that we already just got from the line of best fit. So for the M, it's 2.3. And for the B, it was 160.7. So, and that's it. So this is the equation for Aiden's data. Now, what, what I want you to do, try this on your own. You're, I want you to do the exact same thing for Natalie's data. So 
Natalie, it says she used a stronger elastic band than Aiden did. So she was able to send her ball farther with a shorter arm length. She also varied the length of her catapult arm while measuring the horizontal distance between where the tennis ball was launched and where it landed. The table presents the data she recorded while using her catapult. So exact same thing we did with Aiden. You're gonna go to this and you could just get rid of these and just start over. And what we did with Aiden's data, I want you to do the exact same thing with Natalie. So you're gonna copy and paste Nat Natalie's data into there. And then you're going to find the M and the B and replace those right here. So you should have a, an equation for Aiden's data, which is this. And then you'll, you're going to make an equation for Natalie's data. So I'll show you how to do it, Aiden. So if you don't remember how to do that, you can pause and rewind the video and watch that again. Okay. So now you should have two uh, equations for the line of best fit, one for Aiden's data and then one for uh, Natalie's. So what you should have gotten are these two equations like so. So here was Aiden's and here's Natalie's. And what we're going to see is if Aiden and Natalie each set their arm length of their catapults to 55 centimeters, which statement is true? So if they each sent their arm length to 55 centimeters, would Aiden's catapult launch farther? Would Natalie's catapult launch farther? Or would both their catapults launch the same distance? Or is there not enough information? Well, there's certainly enough information. So let's just go ahead and plug in. I'm going to plug in. This is for Aiden's. And here's Natalie's. So for Aiden's, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this. So we're making the catapult arm length 55 centimeters. And we want to know what's the horizontal distance that that goes for Aiden's catapult. So we're going to replace the x in this case with 55. So just rewrite the equation, replacing the x in the equation with 55. And you're going to do also the same with Natalie's. Um, I'm just going to show you Aiden's, and then you guys can try Natalie's. Y equals calculator here, 2.3 times 55. 126.5 plus 160.7. So we got y equals 287.2. So this is the predicted length that Aiden's catapult will launch um, the tennis ball. Okay, I want you to do the same for Natalie's as well. Now, once you have both of those answers, you're gonna compare them. If Aiden's is more, then you're gonna say Aiden's ball launched farther. If Natalie's is more, you'll say Natalie's did. Um, if they're the same, then you'll say the same. Okay, so go ahead and finish that one up for Natalie. Again, replacing the X with 55 and figuring out what her uh, horizontal distance will be for the tennis ball. Okay, and then click the correct answer, pick the correct answer here. Okay, so now what we want to do is, next question is write and solve a system of equations made up of Aiden's and Natalie's lines of best fit that they can use to find the catapult arm length that they could both use to launch their tennis ball the same distance. So what we're going to do is we're going to put both of their equations equal to each other, and we're going to figure out what would be the correct um, arm length where they both of them would launch the same horizontal distance? So again, Natalie's equation, I'm going to go ahead and write that first. So 3.6x plus, and I believe it was 202.6, yeah, 202.6. 
And I'm going to set that equal to Aiden's equation. So Aiden's equation again was 2.3x plus 160.7. All right, now in order to solve this, what we're going to do is we're going to move the, all the x's onto the left side of the equation. So this 2.3x on the right, we don't want that over there. So we're going to go and subtract 2.3x, both sides of the equation. Just like that. So that gives us 1.3x on the left. plus 202.6. On the right side, we still have the 160.7. Now, what we're going to do in order to help us get x alone, we're going to go ahead and subtract this 202.6 from both sides of the equation. So I've got 1.3x equals, now this will give us a negative number, but that's okay. 160.7 minus 202.6, negative 41.9. Divide by 1.3 in order to get x by itself. Divide by 1.3, divide by 1.3 for balance. And you should get that x equals negative 32.23. So we'll just put negative 32.2, that's fine. This gives us the x coordinate where these two lines cross. So in other words, this tells us the arm length where the two equations would launch the same distance. Now we need to figure out the y coordinate here. So how do we do that? Well, since we have the x coordinate, make finding the y coordinate becomes much easier. All you have to do is you're going to replace this x coordinate into one of the original equations, either Aiden's or Natalie's, and figure out the correct y. So I'm just going to back all this up here and we're going to replace in Natalie's equation and again you could use Aiden's or Natalie's equation doesn't matter but we're going to replace the x with that x value that we found which was the negative 32.2 Now this will tell us the y coordinate. In other words, it'll tell us the distance that the ball will launch with this arm length. So let's go ahead and multiply the 3.6 times the negative 32.2. 115.92, negative. And then plus 202.6. Okay. And I got 86.68. We'll call it 86.7 since that eight will round that six up. So 86.7. There you go. So when they both have a arm length of negative 32.2, they will both launch a distance of 86.7. Okay. Now, what do those two equations look like together? 
Well, here's, here's the graph of them. So the solution of the system of equations representing Aiden's and Natalie's data is shown on the graph. So you can see, here are the two graphs. Um, and it looks like, which one's the, which one's the blue one? I think the blue one is Aiden's. Yeah, see Aiden has a y-intercept of 160.7. So the blue one is Aiden's and the green one is Natalie's. And notice where the two lines cross, right here. Where these two lines cross, it looks like negative 10, 20, 30, negative 30 something, comma, negative, positive 50, 60, 70, 80 something. So it's kind of hard to tell because um, you can't zoom into this graph anymore, but Notice it's the same coordinate point that we got here. So where the two lines cross should be the same as the coordinate point that we got algebraically, where the two lines should cross. And indeed they do, so that's good. Um, that's one way to check your work is when you solve a system of two equations, the graph should show that the two lines are crossing at that same location. Okay. Now, analyze the solution of, to the system to determine whether there is a catapult arm length that Aiden and Natalie can both use to launch their tennis balls the same distance. Explain your reasoning. So, um, in this case, and some of you may already have thought this out, but I said earlier, this is the correct arm length to have them go the same distance. Now, can you have an arm length for a catapult be negative 32.2 centimeters? Well, that doesn't seem to make much sense. So we can say that since we got a negative solution um, for the arm length, that there is no true arm length where they could be the same uh, distance. So um, since these two equations cross at a negative, arm length, there is no real um, arm length where the two catapults will launch the same distance. You can see that from the equation too. They cross here, um, but if you look at these lines, they will never cross again. So that's how two lines always interact. They either cross once or not at all. Um, so here they cross just once and never again. So these two lines will never cross again. They don't curve back onto each other or anything like that. So there is no other instance where they'd have the same arm length same distance. Okay. Now I hope that makes sense. And that's the end of the lesson. So um, that's it for that. Um, I hope that all made sense. If you have any additional questions, uh, feel free to email me anytime. Um, and I will see you guys next time.